on uh, October 28th of this year, I celebrated my 27th year of being a professional wrestler. I've always been my dream since I was a nine-year-old boy watching WWF to be standing in this ring. And I know there's a lot of turmoil in this world about the presidency. I need to tell every single person there's been more doors closed on me and other people told me I wouldn't make it, I couldn't make it. Not one person controls any of our destinies. We control our destinies. Kids, listen to your parents, listen to your teachers. I know you think, oh, my mom is crazy. Trust me, my mom, I'm 45, she still yells at me. And whenever she says my name Thomas, I'm in trouble. And I also always say, we are a family, a very dysfunctional family, but we are still a family no matter race, creed, or color. And on a personal note, Thanksgiving is coming up. When I left the WWE a couple of uh, months ago, someone sent me a letter on Facebook, said my daughter was having heart surgery, she's not doing good, it's her fourth heart surgery. Would you mind visiting her in the hospital? I visited her, she was an amazing little girl. She loves the new day, and Tommy Dreamer, I can see the similarities. <laughs> and then the next day, the mom said, you're visiting her, picked up her spirits. I kind of lost contact. Today, she surprised me. She showed up to see me. She's this beautiful girl right here. Can you walk around? Come on. How many heart surgeries? Two? Oh, I'm sorry. Two heart transplants. And if you saw her in the hospital, and you see her today, this is living proof why we are the best family in the world. You are more hardcore than I will ever be. I'm so happy you come into my life. Remember the 717th in Joppa, I'm doing a show. You and your family are my guests. Everybody, no matter what you want to critique about WWE, independent wrestling, we're all a family, and this is what it's all about. Parents, keep doing a great job for your kids. And for you, I love you.